Did you know that at the time of creation, God told our first parents, that is Adam and Eve, what they should eat and drink to last a long time and have a good, healthy life? Not sure what all happened between then and now, but people don't live hundreds of years anymore like we did at first. When God put Adam and Eve together, they were built to last forever. They were not supposed to die. They would have lasted forever if they had not listened to that snake in the tree, the knowledge of good and evil. What was the diet that would have sustained them forever? Listen to Genesis chapter 1, verse 29. God said, I give you every seed-bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruit with seed in it, they will be yours for food. And I hear people say things like, how boring would that be just to eat fruits and grains and nuts and legumes? It begs the question, do you have any idea how many different kinds of fruit there are? Do you know how many ways there are to prepare grains and nuts and legumes into really tasty and nutritious food? I would offer a challenge to every person who is listening right now, especially those who are tired all the time or those who get sick a lot or those with different diseases or overweight and have memory loss, give the original diet a try for, for a couple of weeks, maybe even a month, and see how you feel afterwards. It is also important to drink only what God created for us to drink. He didn't create beer or wine or whiskey or any other alcoholic drink for us to quench our thirst. And he didn't create soft drinks like Pepsi-Cola, Dr. Pepper, Coca-Cola, or any other soft drink for us to drink. God created water, and water is the absolute ultimate lubricant, cleanser, temperature control. It's good for the health of our skin and a long list of other benefits. God's dietary laws concerning clean and unclean foods are found in Leviticus chapter 11. When you have time, take out your Bible, read Leviticus chapter 11, You'll be surprised at what you learn there, of what's good for you and what isn't. Father, we thank you for the instruction book that you've given us, the Bible. We thank you that you have, that you have given us advice and guidance there. I pray that we will follow it in Jesus' name. Amen.